So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do the hand color assignment in Photopea. So the first thing that you do is start out just with like a picture, just to practice one from the internet or something. Um, and then we need to make it black and white. So I am going to go down to the um, layer palette and I am going to choose black and white and that will put a black and white um, uh, layer on top of my zebras here. Um, now on top of that, I want to add some empty layers. So I'm going to go down to the layer palette again and click on new layer and get some new layers, or I could go up to layer, new layer. Those are two ways that you can do that. All right, and to close that, I just clicked on these little sliders and it goes in. So to keep track of the different colors that I paint on different layers, I actually like to rename these. So I'll make this one red and maybe this one aqua and this one green. Um, now these colored layers have to be above the black and white layer here because the black and white layer makes everything below it black and white. So I'm making the background black and white. So I click on the red layer because I want to paint with red. I go over here to my paint brush, click on my brush tool. Um, I don't want to just start painting because right now I'm actually painting with black. Um, down here I have the upper left square is like my fill color. So I need to click on that and choose a nice red. And um, I have some options for my brush up here. I have like the size in the option bar. I can choose the size of my brush and I can choose the opacity and everything. You can leave the opacity at 100, the flow at 100. We are going to blend this layer in a different way. So just, you know, you can work with the size. Um, the hardness, I'll show you. Um, so if I paint here, you can see that is a hard edge brush. If I want to change it and make it a soft edge brush, you'll see the difference. So now when I paint, see how the edge is a little bit softer. So I am just going to paint over this entire zebra. And for the assignment, you'll do a better job, but I don't want to take up too much time right now because then you will get bored watching this video. Um, and so let me just kind of do this. And so you may be saying, hey, okay, well, it's red, but I can't see the animal underneath. Well, we are going to fix that. So again, just to review, I have my background layer, I have my black and white layer, I have my red layer. Now I can change what's called the layer blending mode. So I am going to go, um, I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on my red layer and I will click on normal and then I can decide I want to blend this red layer with the layers underneath um, in this way. And you have like a whole lot of different, you could choose lighten, you could choose, you know, color dodge, you can use multiply, you can use darken, you can use whatever one you want. And part of the reason that we put a different color on each layer is because maybe red looks better with multiply. Maybe green looks better with um, lighten. Maybe aqua looks better with screen. So that's why we like to have different colors on different layers. Um, so now if I was going to go to aqua, I would be on my brush. I'm on the aqua layer and I go over here and I choose more aqua kind of color and I can paint on my next um, zebra. If I want to make the brush bigger, I can use my bracket keys. And I'm about to show you how to do something that's a little bit more advanced. It's something I would love for you to learn, but if it's too much, then just be much more careful in how you paint this. But I'm gonna go over a little bit on purpose. So here I have aqua, um, I've painted it. 
I'm going to change the layer of blending mode. Let's change it to multiply. And you can see that I've gone off quite a bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. I've gone off quite a bit. Now, this is the more advanced thing. So only watch this next part if you feel that you can handle it. There is something called a layer, um, a layer mask. So just like a mask hides our face, a layer mask hides part of the layer. And so if I'm on the aqua layer and I want to hide part of that layer, I go down to the bottom and there's a circle in the square. And in Photoshop, it's called a layer mask. In Photo P, it's called a raster mask. I'll click on that. I get this extra little box. I have to make sure I'm clicked on the box, not clicked on the box with the aqua in it. I have to be clicked on the mask. And now when I use my paintbrush, um, I want to paint with black and right, white. Right now it's gray and white, so I just want to click right to the upper right-hand corner of that. Um, and here I'm going to switch the colors. I basically want this, I want to be painting with black. And wherever I paint with black will hide what's on that layer. So like if I'm trying to clean up here, or like let's say that like I overdo it. I'm trying to be kind of neat. I'd probably make the brush smaller and stuff like that. But let's say I overbrushed it. Now the thing is, just like when you put a mask on your face, your face doesn't disappear forever. It's just hidden. We have not made the aqua disappear. We didn't erase it. It's not gone. It's just hidden. So wherever I painted with black, it's hidden. If I want to, I can switch these colors. And wherever I paint with white, it will bring it back. It will unhide what's on that layer. So that's the benefit of using a layer mask is that it is a non-destructive, non-permanent way of hiding something. You're not destroying the pixels. You're not throwing them out. You're not erasing them. You're just hiding them. So again, like if I wanted to do this with the red, right? Cause I was kind of sloppy with the red. I would have to click on the red layer cause that's where those red pixels are. I would go down and choose a layer mask or a raster mask. I have to make sure I'm painting with black. I can even just click on this and choose black. And then wherever I paint with black, it will hide those red pixels. And again, you can like make your brush bigger and smaller and refine it and everything. Um, but only attempt this if you feel that you're up to it. Now, when I go over here, if I'm painting with black over here, does it do anything? No, because there's no red over there. There's nothing on that layer. So I'm not hiding anything. Um, if I want to affect the red, I have to be on the red layer. If I want to affect the aqua, I have to be on the aqua layer. So just make sure that you're on the correct layer when you're painting with a layer mask. If you have any questions, please let me know.